Hi everyone, Mark Hack, Macomb County Executive. I'm here with Chief Jeff Randazzo, uh, runs our animal control here in Macomb County. Uh, interesting enough, we're just giving you a quick update on some situation that happened last week uh, dealing with uh, an animal in uh, uh, the household up in the north part of Macomb County. Um, a video that was brought to our attention by the state police. It was posted and uh, some other people that had seen it were very, you know, uh, very concerned about this animal, uh, Josie. Uh, Josie is a German Shepherd and uh, currently Josie is in uh, protective care and um, you know, we're, we're managing not only Josie but the two other dogs that are in the house uh, because of the reaction that we had from our animal control, Jeff and his team and the Sheriff's Department. Uh, you're probably well aware of the case. We just want to give you a quick update. Uh, and again, if you're not aware of the case, it was basically what we said, a man abusing a dog on video. And it was pretty horrific. I know some of the media that came out and took a look at this video, uh, it was posted. Even some of the local media kind of took it to a point. Uh, the yelling, the screaming and hollering, and before the actual real physical abuse took place, uh, it was pretty, pretty graphic. I mean, it, emotionally, uh, it, it had a lot of people pretty upset. But now the question is, you know, what's going to be happening about it? And is there something going to be done? We know that uh, the prosecutor uh, had the charges um, as of last week uh, on the desk. Uh, where, whether you know he decided to do something or not, we understand finally this week there was a decision made and uh, charges have been presented. And so uh, with that, we're fortunate uh, that charges are being brought and a person is being held accountable for what they did to this dog. Uh, because I know not only Jeff, but there's a lot of advocacy groups out there that want to make sure within the system we are going to continue to hold people accountable if they're abusing animals here in Macomb County. And Jeff has got some great outreach with organizations that have already reached out uh, and said, hey, we want to know what's happening with this and we want to get involved. And so fortunately charges have been brought. There's still a few more things that are going to be happening. And uh, Jeff, as I mentioned, is taking care of uh, Josie right now along with uh, two other dogs that were in that house. Sad that they had to be removed because you know there is a connection with the kids and the wife, but because that male uh, subject in that home, uh, just by his actions, there's no question we had to get these dogs out of there uh, for their own protection and for their own good. So, you know, Jeff is going to kind of give us a quick little update on what's going on with the dog specifically and kind of where we're where we're going to be headed with that possibly. Yeah. So since last week, we've been working with them, doing out of the kennel and in the kennel enrichment, and they're uh, going to be placed into very experienced uh, foster care because um, we want them out of this environment and we want to um, we have trainers that are going to start working with them so we're really focusing on their welfare and how we move forward through this process i think the important piece is now that there's charges issued um, we are going to be uh, speaking with the prosecutor um, we have already had these conversations about uh, filing a civil forfeiture to get a show cause hearing to get ownership of these dogs but i think it's important that uh, we want the public to know that ever since we did have custody of these three dogs that we really made sure that we are doing enrichment with them, letting them decompress, and now we're looking into um, getting them to foster care. It was interesting because I mean, Jeff, myself, and many of us uh, through email, phone calls, uh, people reaching out wanted the they wanted the dog, and we had uh, you know we're very fortunate. There's so many people here that are very compassionate here in Macomb County that care about animals. Uh, it was amazing how many people had reached out. You know, can we have those dogs? You know, in particular Josie, uh, the German Shepherd, uh, but. You can't just do that. We can't just give the dog to somebody. There has to be a process, and if it's determined that uh, you know the charges um, and the person is being held accountable for it, the dogs you know are uh, forfeited out of that home. Uh, then we have to find some placement for them. So you know we're working on that process, as Jeff mentioned, with the uh, the fostering right now. Uh, but that's going to be a determination made by the courts as to whether or not they do. And it really is sad. I mean, it's, we're, we're torn when we think about this because we know the family loves these dogs, the kids do, uh, the wife does. Uh, but it was pretty apparent if anything happened and the reason these dogs have to be removed is because of the male in that household. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a very difficult situation to be put in, but we have to make sure that we're protecting these animals, and we will do that uh, to the extent that we can uh, here in, in, our, in Macomb County. So uh, with that, we also have a concern uh, because this individual happens to be, uh, you know, a licensed veterinarian here in Macomb County. And uh, there are concerns about that with many folks. So, you know, we're going to have to uh, draw attention to that with uh, uh, licensing and regulatory agency at the state yes. um, because of his, uh, his actions towards this dog, very inappropriate and one that could challenge or question or put his license into question. And Jeff is going to have to take the lead on something like that as well by putting it. Well, forward. and I think our message too is that we always said from the beginning is that we take animal abuse and violence against animals very seriously. And we didn't overlook, you know, the kids because I want everybody to know that too, that we never did that. But that's on the 
Um, sheriff's Department is definitely handling that piece. But as far as the licensing as being a veterinarian, that we took it very seriously, and um, you know we're working on uh, filing that complaint as well. Yeah, so, so that's important. So with that, we're glad charges are brought, and uh, you know we know someone's going to be held accountable. We're still managing the care of those animals, and I think that's what most people are. You know, that's that was the first and foremost concern in many people's minds is how do we get those animals out of that uh, you know environment so that there's nothing going to happen to them. We did that immediately. Now the aftermath of you know what happens in the legal process that's going to be between the prosecutor, um, you know the individual that's being accused of these crimes, as well as the uh, the court. So however that plays out, we're still going to make sure we take care of those animals. So but we can't appreciate the public enough and the outreach and yeah. the support. And again, as we always say, this happened to be caught on video and it was brought to our attention because it was, but we understand there are many other instances and situations that happen where animals are abused, and uh, unfortunately sometimes they're not brought to our attention. Uh, but as uh, you know, Jeff had mentioned once before in our, our press conference, see something, say something. You know, that goes for many things in life, but when it comes to animal abuse here in Macomb County, we are adamant that uh, that's something we're gonna take serious and we're gonna address, and uh, we know there are many advocates out there on behalf of animals, and uh, we need to help make sure that that happens. So we're on top of it, and uh, again, if there's any need to update you further, uh, we'll continue to do that, but in the meantime, keep you and your family safe, but also keep your pets safe as well. Thank you.